Hello and welcome to Detail Drummer. Today I'm going to be talking with a session drummer and content creator from Slovenia, Jaka. So I wanted to to ask you how did you start to to play the drums if you could tell me and tell us your story and uh, what you did and what you want to do in the future. Give us a little brief of your career till now. Okay, so my name is uh, Jaka Shinko. I come from Slovenia and I, I've been playing the drums for uh, a little bit more than 12 years, I think. So I started at the age of like 11 or something around that and before that I played guitar and ever since like I switched like uh, drums have been my only instrument the, so I switched because I saw like my brother he's playing the bass mm -hmm. and and his his band at that time when I was in primary school was playing at our school and when I saw their drummer, like acting all cool and sh and stuff, <laughs> I, yeah, I I realized I needed to switch instruments. <laughs> so that that was like my spark to start playing the drums. So after that, I had a private teacher for a first few first few years. Then I went to like music school. When I well, then. I started playing in different like uh, bands and ensembles and orchestras and after a while I like I dove deep into like pop rock genres where I'm currently like in most enjoying myself right. and I'm um, also last year I got the call for uh, for a pop gig for a Slovenian pop star Nika Zorian, she called me, was looking for a new drummer, and that has been my main gig ever since. So that's like quick recap of my story. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool. yeah. Yeah, because uh, uh, we found each other through Instagram. Yeah. I have to mention that like I started Instagram in late 2017 mm -hmm. or uh, early 2018. I've uh, been posting content there and uh, I've got like a few session calls from from basically from the internet and I'm I've been doing like online lessons all as well so a bit of gigging teaching and all that all the good stuff <laughs> yes <laughs> That's cool. Um I wanted to ask you just uh, cuz you said like you did all the music path and uh, you had a private teacher as well and yeah. in in which of the phases when you you were learning right when you were having that personal teacher and further yeah. on what would you say was one of the most important moments for you in the sense of like uh learning stuff that was really really important you, you thought like you it was more important for you to have someone kind of leading you into into things or by yourself after that uh, do you think it was more important maybe uh yes for for sure for example when i when whenever you start you don't you don't know where to start so you exactly. need somebody to, yeah, you yeah, need yeah. someone to guide you sure. so for the first few years of my drumming life i had a teacher well a few different teachers um and they showed me they showed me how to read music how to play not only the drums but like percussion um, and all that stuff and I think like as you you ask what is the most important thing like to to me the most important thing was to learn how to read and write drum notation mm -hmm. or or notation so whenever like I'm hearing something I know in I know what what is being played because of that. So I see a lot of drummers like not knowing how to write drums, how to write parts. So that's like the big thing that pushes you as a drummer, pushes your musicality. Gives you like more freedom, 
Yeah, yeah, it gives you more so you freedoms. Can, you can teach yourself, kind of. Yeah, and you can teach others as well. Yeah, like, if you true. don't know exactly what you're doing, how will you teach others? Exactly. So, yeah. So, for the first few years, I had a teacher. And, like, ever since, like, that, I finished, like, the music school. I, um, I, I'm basic, I basically taught myself, like, the how to not only the musical skills of drumming but like the how to post on social media how to network like being uh, like the most important thing like in being a musician is like being a good person like not be yeah. an ass if i can say yeah. so because nobody for, will for, a, for for a person in general not only yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like you're right <laughs> well, it's, yeah right it's not right. the majority though <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. but like no nobody will hire you if you're like uh, if you're a pain in the ass to work with true so yeah that's and it you yeah. need you need to know how to adapt to different environments and different people and kind of yeah, learn yeah, how yeah. to make it work in a in yeah, your yeah. way because different personalities yes. and stuff sometimes you know cl can clash but in, i think in, it's it's in anything anything like in life you le you need to learn with the situation when that happens you know you kind of <laughs> start yeah, to learn how, yeah. how to deal with people some people in it yeah i try to listen first and react after you know yeah so exactly not to be the loudest person in the room because most of the time like you are playing for somebody else or like true like the the someone who hires you it's their vision not yours so exactly. yeah it's their baby yeah <laughs> <laughs> and you're just indeed. looking after it a little <laughs> bit indeed indeed <laughs> uh can you give us like some insights because you're talking you started your instagram on 2017 and now you have a pretty good following uh, and as you said you're getting some gigs and work from from that platform what would you say it's really important to to have to you know build your uh, online presence yeah yeah sure sure so when i started like um posting the the most important thing is content is king everything you can throw everything else in the trash if you don't have content good yeah. content that exactly. is so good content and quality quality and quantity so post good content and post regular content so don't post like once every month and expect something to happen. Like doesn't matter what platform you're on, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, doesn't matter. Yeah. So, and try to have like a niche or how to say it, like so that people, when they look at your content or they, when they only hear or they only see your content, they know it is you. Mm -hmm. Not only after one video, but like after 20 videos they know your style and how you approach things so building a, if, a brand exactly building a brand so if we are talking about instagram where i started when i'm where i'm still doing stuff for example for instagram the most important thing is where um keywords so hashtags in this case and the time you post so if you're i don't know from russia and you are posting when everybody's like from america or brazil where most of the people that watch content like are located not only from my uh, analytics i saw from the others as well like i don't know why but brazil and like spanish speaking countries are really big do this. a lot, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do a lot. So, have in mind the time you post, what, uh, what uh, hashtags you use. So, mm -hmm. like, use the all the hashtags you can, because the more hashtags, the more keywords you put on your videos, uh, that may that that can be in like in the description of the video or in the first comment. In the first comment, yeah. In the first comment, like, it doesn't matter. It makes it more neat. I guess. Yeah, well, yeah, I... makes it more neat, but like it's the it doesn't really matter. I don't, I don't know if it works the same though, does it? Yeah, yeah, because the same effect. You, yeah, I think the 
more bet the better approach is to put it in the description. Right. And I think the 30, 30 hashtags is the maximum. So use them all because the more yeah. keywords you have, the more chances like are Like different things as you. well, not like just Instagram or Instagram or like... Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Uh, search, search, like research yeah. the keywords, the what, what are popular, what is not popular. So exactly. yeah, that's basically it and post regularly, right? That's that's the most important thing. And like, what, why? How would you say like you could imagine if I if I was starting that I am <laughs> um, my Instagram and and uh, and uh, and like my promotion side of it as well? Uh, what would you say is the best uh, kind of plan? You know, to do it uh, in a sense because you're saying like you need good content and but you know good content is is subjective kind of because you know good things for me are not the, the good things for yeah, yeah, yeah yeah sure I, I know what you mean like thing with with some substance something there yeah, that yeah you can yes. take from it uh but how would you like start and plan it or how, how do you do it so so people can like understand your process of posting stuff you know so uh... If I take your uh, case, for example, you are doing like interviews with, uh, with drummers all over the world. Mm -hmm. what, I, what I would do in your case, like, I don't know how many you interview per week. Let's say uh, two drummers yeah, per week. Around about, yeah. So one episode is like 20 or 30 minutes long. But there, but like a lot of people don't have the time to watch like 30 minutes. Uh, so what I would do to have more content, to have things going, I would take like do one podcast or interview and then I would s slice it up into smaller chunks for, for uploads on YouTube, on Instagram. So for example, we are talking now tips and tricks on how to grow your social media or on how to grow your Instagram account. Yeah. And w I would took this clip of us talking like one, two minutes and post it on Instagram or post it on YouTube, on Facebook. And the more, the more you do that, the more like the shorter videos there are, the more people will, will likely to watch you and the more people can discover you. Because mm -hmm. if you only... If you only post like uh, an interview per week, you will get traction. People will start to listen to you and your interviews, but not as fast mm -hmm. as you would like, I presume. Yeah. And like, I know from my perspective, when I watch podcasts, all of the bigger podcasts are doing this, as, I, as I'm saying. Mm-hmm like smaller chunks if you know like joe rogan podcast he has a, a second channel on youtube called joe rogan clips where he only posts clips of the of the whole podcast so one hour podcast but he gets like 10 clips out of that one podcast right so that's basically like 10 posts yeah of course don't spam your audience like post like one clip a day or one clip every two days not not 10 clips every day but yeah. like that's what i would do yeah. yeah that's good advice man that's good yeah. I, I like i try to i try to do that but like just um on my instagram page you can see like there's like the that there's the thumbnail then there's a promotion clip then there's like a small video of the interview yeah, yeah, I guess yeah. I guess like if I stretch that instead of because I'm thinking like three posts a week, but if I do like six, you know, with this like with the same interview, but do like for example two or three clips of one minute of the video, and then uh, two or three photos with promotion and something about the person that I'm doing, you know, like change a little yeah. bit the the. Like the, how do you say, the layout, the layout, the of layout, the, yeah, yeah, of the, of the Instagram, yeah, because I, I wanted you, to look, you know, clear when you go to it and you start to scroll, you see all the interviews and everyone that I that I'm doing, you know, so it, I I, I do want to, you know, be more to, to to do more content, but at the same time, I was thinking of doing it in a way that looks good when you go back, if that, yeah, makes yeah, sense. yeah, yeah, it makes you know sense, I mean? yeah. 
but I would I would also like uh, my advice would be uh, post more videos than pictures mm -hmm. for like for every picture post ten videos because right. uh, if you look at the statistics uh, videos on Instagram get way way more engagement or than pictures get so that's like uh, one tip and i would also like separate separate uh like personal life and uh drumming or like business stuff right because because i see a lot of good drummers uh with good profiles but i like i like watching them but mm -hmm. like every day they are posting like stuff they eat or like what they drink or like they are right. walking their walking their dog or like memes that, yeah well memes are fine <laughs> <laughs> i like memes no, memes are good, memes are good. <laughs> no but like keep the your private life separate from your business or drumming life yeah. musical life that makes sense or like yeah. you can you can like uh, still post things on Instagram on on your on your account, but like you have those things of uh, stories for your friends only. Or, you know, like just make yeah, yeah, it yeah. in a way that yeah. you show what you want to show to the right people. In yes, that, exactly. That makes exactly. sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, also, you mentioned that you got that gig uh, now, and you're playing with this uh, pop star from Slovenia. Um, yes. And you, you, you also got an endorsement, right? Yes. Right. Can I, you explain like how that works? And so, yeah, basically how endorsements work, uh, brands give you free stuff and that's it. Nah, <laughs> I'm joking. You wish. That's, <laughs> yeah, you wish. It's, it's the opposite of that. Like most of the people on the internet think that like, if, when I get endorsed, I will make it. That's yeah. like the that's like the end goal, and like it's totally the opposite. Mm. When you like, when you do something good, like have a world star gig, or are the best teacher in the world, the brands will notice that, and they will support your work. Not because like they that doesn't mean like that you made it. Yeah. So and. Uh, only the biggest it just means the, you have exposure enough for them to yeah 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 <laughs> like it's a business relationship like yeah. you you put their name out there and they provide this and that for you but only the biggest names in the drumming world have free stuff and i don't even know if they get free stuff like i don't know benny grab or luke holland mm -hmm. this this kind of names i bet they do <laughs> yeah they do but like Usually it's a uh, of like you negotiate on the deal. Yeah, you have so, like a certain percentage that they will take from from the selling. Uh, yeah, the, yeah. The, in some exactly, cases, can yeah. can also work like you need to do some some clinics to the to the brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Depends, depends like on depends on your like reach. How yeah. many depends if what they decide like you can benefit we can benefit like how how much we can benefit from your channel from your exposure mm -hmm. so basically uh, in my case i i am endorsed by minel stick and brush and bone custom drums so minel stick and brush everybody knows minel they mm -hmm. make sticks sticks as well so Chris from Minel like messaged me over Instagram like hey dude uh, like you want to check out our sticks so yeah, I said yes and we talked back and forth and we made a deal and I'm endorsed by Bone Custom Drums which is a, a, a drum company custom drum company from Slovenia so they are located near me and they also found me through Instagram or YouTube. I don't know exactly, but like they basically said the same thing. Like we, we like your work. Do you want to want to talk like we can work something out? And mm -hmm. I went to their factory, checked out the drums. I had like different sets and different that's, snares. That, that's the fun part. Yeah, that's the fun part. It's checking out <laughs> different stuff, what 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 clicks with you, and I like I think I 
checked like three kits and a few snares and I said like this is like this is what I want we can so, make this because it's this, it's custom as a, a custom brand are you like yes. in the kit you chose because I'm guessing it, it was not made for you it was made and you chose it uh, yes but um, would you change anything <laughs> I, oh yeah for like uh, <laughs> we, uh, I'm we talk... in problems now <laughs> no 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 because no. uh, the i like gold hardware if, right. if i if i could i would have like gold hardware symbol, symbol stands and everything so the kit i have is a maple mahogany hybrid kit in gold hardware nice. uh, and it, it's like uh, natural wood finish high gloss finish so that's exactly what i want and go gold hardware so that's it like if i wanted my custom kit this is like what i wanted my custom kit to look like and hmm. this is what they had you're so. not saying that because of the discount no 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no 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 fair 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 that's even better yeah. in it because like, yeah it's like it goes it hand was, in hand it was made already you didn't they didn't yeah but, and they were like uh, when i came to the factory they said like we have this kit check this out and i saw that kit that i no, have no, now i want that one <laughs> i said man this kit looks sick and they said yeah but check this kit out and i didn't uh, I, <laughs> i didn't i didn't bring it home the first times so i checked out another kit and a few different snare drums but in my mind but i you always were still had, thinking like yeah i i need to get my hands on that kit <laughs> so i'm going to refuse and, anything they give. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's like uh, that's it like basically and you like have to have some kind of chemistry be between the people you are working with like True. yeah so like this is business so yeah yeah really cool uh i'm just gonna do the last question uh and uh, ask you what you intend to do in future yeah what's your sure, plans sure. So my plan is to start gigging more often when the like COVID situation comes down. <laughs> so, and uh, hopefully we can have like uh, a few tours or something. I don't know. Nobody really knows what the situation yeah, will be like, but like, I would like to teach more often. So online, I, I, as I said, like I've been just I've been few a few years into online teaching, mm -hmm. so and I and I'm really enjoying it. So I want to do that more, and uh, I'm also working on like an ebook. So because I get tons of questions on Instagram about this and that, and I've been answering the same questions for <laughs> <laughs> for like three years now, <laughs> and I've had it. <laughs> so it's like no, yeah. Next so, time it's like there's the link to the book yeah and that's it like it's easier for me in it it's easier for yeah people. for everyone like, yeah so uh and i'm also working on building my website and like all the stuff that comes with it so that's about it amazing thank you so much for doing this interview i, ho I yeah. hope you 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 enjoyed it i did <laughs> <laughs> thanks for having me man it was really cool because i have kind of i had kind of uh counseling let's say <laughs> on <laughs> on marketing uh while, <laughs> while i was doing the interview so that's yeah. cool it's like win-win for me uh but uh i hope you you enjoyed it and yeah that's it yeah thanks for having me man no problem it mate. was a pleasure yeah same I hope you liked the interview and if you want more content like this, please subscribe the channel, give it a like and comment with your feedback and your ideas. Uh, also, we, you can support the channel by buying some of this merch by heading to our site detaildrummer.com. Uh, that would help a lot this to grow and in order to, to get more interviews and more content for you guys. Really appreciate it. See you next time.